A progressive mesh representation encodes an arbitrary mesh as a coarse base shape together with a sequence of refinement operations that progressively recover detail. This same representation can be used for view-dependent level of detail control. A selectively refined mesh is incrementally adapted from frame to frame to adapt to changes in view parameters. Even with this simple mesh, selective refinement offers speedups over brute force rendering, shown here. In this work, we extend the view-dependent progressive mesh framework and specialize it for rendering terrains. This video demonstrates some of the new contributions. We first demonstrate our scheme for generating geomorphs at runtime. By smoothly interpolating geometry, these geomorphs completely eliminate annoying popping artifacts. As shown in the top view on the right, refinement and coarsening transformations are geomorphed only if they overlap the view frustum. During forward motion, almost all geomorphs are refinements. The label VGR indicates the fraction of morphing vertices. Even though the mesh connectivity changes abruptly, the gradual motion of the vertices results in a smooth animation. Coarsening geomorphs, which occur during backward motion, are more challenging to implement, but are still effective, as shown here. This side-by-side -side comparison demonstrates the importance of temporal coherence. The two fly-throughs are almost identical. Both have an error tolerance of 4 pixels, and both render the same number of faces. The only difference is that geomorphs are disabled on the left. The geomorph scheme also works on arbitrary meshes. To determine where refinement is necessary, an approximation error is pre-computed for every refinement operation. A naive approach may result in screen space errors that exceed the expected tolerance. For the case of height fields, we can efficiently compute the exact approximation error. As a result, we see on the right that screen space errors are now predictable. Next, we demonstrate hierarchical progressive mesh construction. Although the scheme is primarily aimed at dealing with huge models, we illustrate it here with a simple mesh. The original terrain mesh is partitioned into blocks. Within each block, we first pre-simplify the mesh without significant loss of accuracy. We then continue simplifying each block while recording the sequence of coarsening operations. Next, we stitch these blocks together to form 2x2 two two blocks and recursively apply the procedure. When we reach the highest level, here a 4x4 block, we simplify one last time until each block appears in its simplest form as two triangles. The hierarchical PM representation is formed by inverting all of these coarsening operations. Here we see a depth first expansion of the PM hierarchy. Of course, view dependent refinement offers a much more flexible way to selectively expand this hierarchy. We now integrate all of these new ideas to demonstrate a flight over a large terrain model. The original grid consists of 4,097 by 2,049 vertices, or nearly 17 million triangle faces. To make the demonstration more challenging, we've exaggerated the elevation data by 40%, and we're flying at about Mach 10. We used hierarchical construction and truncated the representation down to 1.5 million triangles. At runtime, our data structures require only about 50 megabytes of memory. As before, this is recorded in real time on a single processor SGI Octane with maximum impact graphics. The frame rate is kept nearly constant at 30 frames per second through regulation of the error tolerance. Note how the irregular mesh connectivities allow accurate approximations with low face counts.
Here we have modified regulation to obtain 60 frames per second.